it erases the DNA and RNA and genetic memories that they no longer have a use for. In karma, when you are done with a particular thing that you have overcome, it's like it's, that is taken out, it's taken out of your genetic memory so you no longer do it. So this, they are leaving, and they, so you want to remove this. So it's a gracious thing to do for a person. And do it for yourself. You no longer need to experience these things. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Page 52. DNA reactive, reactivate the 12 stands of DNA, reopen and activate and connect the 12 planets. This you do not use unless you're very spiritual and you know you are. It will make you sick. We had 12 strands. We're down to two strands 37,000 years ago. Our DNA and RNA was tampered with. We are slowly getting it back. But you want to act, reactivate and get yourself going? Be careful. This will make you very sick. Unless you are so spiritual then there's no problem. If you have an injury, uh, autumn, uh, um, athletic injury, and it doesn't heal, it doesn't heal, it's because it's got a DNA S knot in it. It must be removed for healing to take place. And those are usually injuries from one way, for one reason or another. It's, it's like a little screw that gets caught in it and it just can't come out and wiggle out. You know, it just can't strain out. Let's go to um, okay, page sixty-four. Well, women, you all knew you were first. Men think they were, but it was the women who were first. Uh, the woman first ruled, were the, ruled the world, okay? They were the ones who, they were the female who brought the children in, and their essence was Mother Earth. When she, dis when she was in control, to control the men in dominance to her, around men's neck, and many times I see it, there's a band that looks like this, see? Dominance male over band. That pin has to be taken out to release them. They've been carrying it all, all a long time, so they has to be released. With the, and then the woman said, well, now it's your turn. The men take over, you rule the earth, and let's see how you do. And they have been in control ever since. But what they did, they put this template on our chest. And when I first was given it in meditation, I went, oh my God, what is that? And then it was given through me through the channeling information. This is on every woman's breastplate. And it has, it has like little, it can be just snapped off. So then put this yourselves on, women, and this will come right off. Do this for the men, take the, takes the pin off of this, and for the woman, it takes this breastplate off. Very ugly. It was, this is just exactly what it looked like. I was very shocked when I saw it. But what it did, woman freely gave it, and what she did, she closed her throat chakra so she would not speak up and, and criticize him for running the earth the way he wanted it to. And this is why many times when we go to talk and lectures and so on, that the men try to overcome us, and we can't really talk because what's happened is we still have this plate on us. This plate has to be removed because we deliberately closed our throat chakras. We deliberately did that. We said, now it's your turn. You must learn to run the earth. And now we are at a point where now it's a balance. Men and women are to do it together. The time of one or the other is over with. Men and women are hand in hand are to do it together now. You turn to page 65. I may even take out this smoking, quit smoking. What I was shown, sometimes this works just marvelously, but what I was shown just lately is some people walk ins especially needed for grounding purposes, and those from a planet that is more dense in their atmosphere, 
like for the, from the Orion system, they're so used to a denser atmosphere, they need the smoke. And so um, there's no use even trying, them even trying to quit. They need, they need it to breathe, really. They're not used to this thinner atmosphere. So I may even take that on my next uh, printing on the book. How much time do we have? You have about an hour and 15 minutes. Okay. Um, I want to talk to you about Alter Ego Sabotage, page 48. This is a very interesting one. This, this came through me through channeling information. I had about four people who had been ill for from seven to 11 years, on and off, uh, I, and they would always come to me as last resort, as they always do, as you know, those with machines, you, you find the, the last resort people. There's nothing, I did everything I could, and I wasn't tapping into what was really going. So I told uh, one of the people, one of the women, I said, I want you to go and have a channeling done, and I want to be present and see what they tell you. And this is very interesting. Uh, they brought up ego, alter ego sabotage. And the way it was explained through channeling information is ego, the body is on automatic. You don't have to tell it to make your heart pump. You don't have to tell it to digest your food. You don't have to tell it to move your finger to right. You don't have to tell your legs to walk. So ego is put in there to stop you from walking into the ocean and drowning, stopping you from putting your hand in the fire. It's, what, it's like a, a little stopper put into the system to stop you from harming yourself, making sure you eat, keeping the body alive, making sure you don't overeat. Alter ego, you tell, say for, well, and this particular, this particular woman, uh, lifetime after lifetime, she had a gay life, never thought of the spiritual, just went on her gay self and, and, and drugs and so on and so forth, but had a good time. And each time she said to her, now this time I'm going down I want you to stop me from going out of the house if I don't walk the spiritual path. If I don't stay on this path, I want you to keep me in the house so that I don't go there. That's exactly what happened. Every time she tried to leave the house, she lost her job. Every time she wanted to go to a party or get involved with drugs or anything, she'd be violently ill. Her alter ego, which is your spiritual stopper, your spiritual to keep you on the path. We're all on the way back to God. We chose this experience. We chose to ex we ex we chose to experience life on Earth, but we all are going back to the source from whence we came. But sometimes we get waylaid. So they, from that, from them telling me about the alter ego, I made the template. And using the template and the suggestions they told her, um, one, one of the people was able to, never could have relationships, was able to have a relationship, go back to work. The next one who hadn't worked in 11 years went back to, got a job. They start slowly, but at least they're going now out of the door and going to work. And the illness disappears, they're feeling good. And it's something like uh, the immune syndrome, uh, where they real tired, fatigued, nothing agrees with them food-wise. Um, they've been from doctor to doctor to doctor, and this is, this is what you've got to see if this is what they have, alter ego sabotage. What happens is the alter ego doesn't, it's like a broken record, it doesn't stop. They've corrected their ways, they've become spiritual, but it doesn't stop, it keeps stopping them, so you have to turn it off. You understand what I'm saying? It's this, this little imprint in them doesn't realize they learned their lesson. They are doing good. They are on the path. 
but it doesn't know it, so it, it, it stops, keeps stopping. So you have to like turn off the record or turn off this implant in them, okay? Central nervous system upgrade. This is a must for everyone. Many people, even those that sit and do the yogi um, meditations and so on, um, they have pain at the back of the spine, their back feels like they're broken. Right now, we are all being upgraded quite a bit. And the energy comes in your left foot at night, and it goes out your right foot at night. And when you wake up, you think, oh, my back is broken. Parts of your body start hurting. You're aching all over. You feel bad. Your central nervous system has to be upgraded to absorb this new energy coming in. It's coming from Mother Earth. It's being directly into Mother Earth. It comes out of Mother Earth. It goes in your left leg and comes out and makes a circle and goes back out the right, back into the Earth. If there are blockages in your body, it stops there, and it is painful. You think your back is broken. You must upgrade your central nervous system. And that is very easy. You just put the template on and follow, follow what it says. It's very simple. Okay, let's see if we can help the earth a little bit and help others in general. Turn to... Page, we're going to the rays, the 12 rays, page 69. See, uh, go page 71 uses of the 16th and 17th rays move the masses to begin to promote what foster feelings of peace in decorating schemes in public, more smooth, smoothing music to the soul, noise pollution control, closing off the public view from what construction reconstruction is being accomplished, promotion of the arts, creation. Well, let me tell you how I use this. I use it on prisons prisons where they have inmates, you know. Um, there's a lot of noise purposely generated out of prisons for confusion.